I'm Chris Kubom. Here's a look at your local five forecast. The wind is still out there for trick or treating, but easing after dark and in a hurry too. It will be going calm later on tonight. Still cold, no matter how you slice it. We missed that snow early in the morning over northeastern Iowa. Those wind gusts initially as we approach evening still hanging up around 30 to 35 miles per hour. But as I mentioned later into the overnight, those readings really dial it back down for trick or treating for the communities in action tonight. We're near freezing at the start by 8 o'clock back in the 20s, and I think those temperatures dip rather sharply tonight. We'll be down closer to 20 degrees in the metro. Wouldn't surprise me if uh, some communities in greater Iowa do get back into the teens overnight. But look at that wind. It's going to dial it back, so the wind chills will not be near as extreme. Kind of a give and take scenario. Either way, still looking at those wind chills in the teens with some slight breezes out across central Iowa. Future cast is clear initially. Some high clouds start Starting to move in early on Wednesday morning, we should still have a wealth of sunshine as we go throughout the day, despite Futurecast showing a lot of gray there. That should be a scattered deck of clouds, especially clearing up through the second portion of the day, and the temperatures will respond. It will be a bit breezy from the south and west. Some of those gusts may reach 30 miles per hour, but that is a warmer wind after all. We will start to turn things around. 20 degrees is our overnight low and 47 on Wednesday. Temperatures starting to rebound and we will kick those readings up even more. So it's 40s on our Wednesday for Thursday. We'll start to make that transition into the 50s and beyond Friday into the weekend. We'll try to make that run at 60 degrees. I think either of these three days has the chance to get it done, but Right now, I'm giving the slight edge to Sunday at this juncture. Next chance for precip comes in the form of rain. Sunday night going into Monday, and then we'll watch for a rain-snow mix as temps dip back down after Election Day next Wednesday.